Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the triplage.com. And guys, recently I have received some requests if I can show how to work with functions and classes in PHP. And then we can, you know, create some kind of a live application through it. So guys, that's what we're going to start today. Uh, guys, very first, you know, in a couple of videos, I'm going to uh, make you more friendly with uh, functions, how functions actually work, what are the good practices and how to create a class and then later we probably gonna build a very small pagination class and finally we're gonna make a to-do maker using all the object-oriented uh, programming skills in php <clears throat> so without wasting any time i'm gonna create a new folder and i'm gonna name it to uh, let's say op that's what we're gonna cover uh, very first, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name it to uh, function.php. Okay, and I'm going to create one more file. I'm going to name this one to index.php. Okay, guys. So, uh, in this particular file, which is function.php, we're going to write all our functions and we're going to call them inside index.php file. So I'm going to start a PHP tag and guys, in order to create any function, very first you will have to define that function and in order to define that function, you will have to write this word function and then you can write the name of the function you want to write. So I'm going to say function sum and then you need these parentheses in order to, you know, uh, close actually the function name. Then we're going to start the curly braces and inside these curly braces, we will have to write our entire code. So it's quite obvious uh, this function sum is going to make a sum of two values. So if I'm going to say $a is equal to 1 and $b is equal to 2. And finally, I can say echo uh, $a plus $b are probably, you know, we can create one more variable. I can say other C is equal to A plus dollar B. Okay, and then here I can echo dollar C. So guys, everything uh, we are doing inside this function will can only be called if we are going to run this function. So I'll open this page in my browser. Uh, I'm gonna say OOP. So inside the index.php we don't have anything because we haven't drawn anything. So I'm going to go to my functions.php file and if you will notice there is nothing on the page though we are echoing C. The reason behind that is uh, because we are not running this function. We have only created this function. Now we will have to run it. So I'm going to say echo sum. Here it says 3. Okay. But uh, guys echoing anything from like from inside the function itself is never a good practice so you should always try to you know return values from the function because functions are supposed to only return values they are not supposed to echo or print any anything on the screen so as a good practice never echo anything from the functions always try to return values from it so if i'll refresh again you will notice the result is still the same though we are returning it uh, guys the next thing about the function is you will have to make a more dynamic if you're working with you know static uh, objects or I would say static values then it does not make any sense to write functions because functions are always to save your time are always that you will not have to write you know the same code and again and again so it is never a good practice to go ahead and use static values the way we are doing right now so if you will notice one and two is a static value so every time if I, if I will have to use this function on different places I will have to change, change these values okay so as a better practice what we can do is we can pass in some parameters inside these uh, parentheses so I'm gonna say var one and var two okay so these are the parameters of these of actually this function so i'm going to say dollar a will be equal to variable one and function b will be i'm sorry the 
variable p is equals to uh, variable 2. Okay, that sounds very confusing, but it is. And finally, we can, you know, pass our values inside these parentheses. So I can say 2 and 1. Okay, and you will notice the result is still the same. But it will make your function more flexible and more reusable at any point of time. So let's say you want to make a sum at 100 times. So you don't have to worry about what values are inside this function because you are not making anything static out here. You are only passing the values for while you are calling it. So I can say echo sum. And I can say 10 and 20. And it's going to give me the result 20. So we are making it more dynamic now and we can we are making it you know more flexible because we are not doing anything inside of this function we are only doing it when we are calling it so guys this is a very simple way to write your functions always make sure that you are not echoing anything from the function because it does not make any sense if you want to echo uh, you know your stuff from the functions and never make your functions too static so that every time you will have to change them if you want to call them Okay, guys, and uh, I believe that's all from this function tutorial. It's, I know it's a quite simple one, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how to write a very simple class, and then we can probably write a pagination class, and then we can go ahead and build you know, a live uh, application for it. So I will see you guys next time.